that drives a Raptor. I was reading yesterday that it's literally the worst car for the environment. I don't even know how we're friends. What is, what is that noise? Check out my new truck! <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm so glad you guys came. My name is Matt. I'm king of the Demolition, and today we have an idea that stemmed from a viewer. He goes by the name of Ballistic Machinist, and he sent me this package. And I uh, it had a big board on the top. You could see it off the ranch when I opened it. I had no idea what this was. Had not talked to this guy. Uh, this is a very heavy package. It's made out of two by fours to hold it all together and he mailed this and we'll get to this thing in a minute let's just start by here he has basically custom shotgun shells kind of like I used to do but they're like legit they're real so this one has a steel dumbbell in it you can see it through that clear shell and he's got I mean his own packaging I assume he makes these to sell but he's got all the velocity and energy and everything so seems seems legit Let's see what this one is. This one says brass pellets. It's, it is like a piece of brass, but it looks like it's just one interesting looking slug. All right, what else we got? This says 357 Defender personal defense slug. Oh, so it's like a Sabo. So they have like a 357 inside that, and it looks like it's kind of inside like a cup. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting slug there. From what I gather, this guy makes uh, custom shotgun shells way more legit than I used to make them. And so he sent me this. And I was like, oh, that's a cool decorative piece. It is solid steel, so it is super heavy. He said this is a 10.1 inch disc that is two inches thick and made of impact resistant S7 tool steel. He says, S7 tool steel is used to make punches and stamping dies. It can handle repeated impacts without fracturing. He said, now in a stamping die, it is usually heat treated to a Rockwell hardness of C55, which is about the same as AR500 body armor. So AR500 is really hard steel. This disc is still in its machinable state, so it's softer. He says it's between C20 and C30 on the Rockwell scale. So basically he wants me to try these shotgun shells against it. I love it. But first, I want to start off a little smaller. I have a 9mm pistol. I want to shoot it with a 9mm and see what it does. Uh, also, look how hard it is for me to... Actually, I don't know if I can get it out. Not only is it heavy, it's hard to grab onto, and it's like wedged in here. Yep, I'm gonna have to dump it out. Let's just, just dump it. Oh, it's so heavy. I mean, he had to custom build this box and put handles on the outside so you can lift it. It's so stuck. Come on. You can do it. Ugh. Ugh. There it is. The Demolition Ranch. I mean, look at this. He's got my logo cut out on it. I feel bad shooting this, but it's going to feel so good. I will be shooting the 9mm out of my brand new car P9. So I was kind of looking for something that I could carry that was smaller than my Glock 23, but bigger than my uh, Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. So the 380 is a little round in a tiny gun, single stacked. The Glock 23 is a, they call it a compact gun, but it's still pretty big, it's double stacked mag. This is kind of in between. This thing also has the fiber optic tritium sight. So fiber optics, so they glow during the day and tritium, so they glow during the night. This is actually my first time fired. I just got this gun. So I have a full mag, but I only need one shot. So I'm gonna shoot around it a little, and then I will hit it. All right, let's go for the plate. First mag out of the P9, very well. Whenever you get a new gun, you wanna shoot a lot of rounds through it to make sure it's reliable. So I'm not gonna carry this thing just yet. But this is next in line to be my carry gun if it proves to be a good gun over time. We shall see. One thing to note is this thing didn't even move. It just got hit with a bullet and it's so heavy, it just stayed right there. Barely a scratch there. Well, let's go ahead and do what the ballistic machinist wanted 
and let's hit it with some shotgun slugs. 357 hollow point. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> Definitely a hit. What you'll notice this thing hit with way more energy than our 9mm. It pushed that target right over, but still did not score the metal at all. Now the brass shotgun slug. I think this one will do a little more damage, but not much more. It did seem to hit way harder. That hit super hard. Target's knocked over backwards, but one thing that caught my eye is this little piece of brass over here reflected the sunlight when I walked up. Straight up chunk of hot brass. Still very hot. Cool. So there's our hit. Left some brass on the steel. Definitely has made the biggest dent so far, but still not even getting close to hurting the integrity of this thing. Last one is the steel dumbbell. Whenever you shoot steel at steel, make sure you have distance or a good angle. I've got a good angle. Holy cow! So you may have noticed when I fired that it hit the target and then you could see smoke go up over here, which means probably most of that steel went that way. There's our hit, a nice solid dent. It definitely smacked it hard. Let's go ahead and step it up to a real rifle with a real rifle caliber, a 308. But first, a word from our sponsor, Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds you the best coupons so that you always get the best deals on the things you buy online. If you go to joinhoney.com slash demo ranch, it's super easy. And you can see you click here, it's free. You click add extension and automatically, now I have Honey installed. I'm hungry for a pizza from Papa John's. Let's uh order a pepperoni. I would like two, please. Add them to cart. Okay, let's go to my cart. $33.16. Um, oh look, Honey says they found a coupon. Apply the coupons. Look, Honey scans through the coupons, finding the one that will save me the most money. And there it is. You saved $8.98. So instead of $35.90, I'll only pay $26.92. Continue to checkout. And it updates my total. I just saved over eight bucks just because I installed Honey for free. There's no reason to not add Honey to your browser today. It's free, takes just two clicks to install, and it will save you money. Click the link in the description below to add Honey to your browser for free, or go to joinhoney.com slash demo ranch. We appreciate their sponsorship here. Is this not the most beautiful gun you've ever seen? We are going to launch a 308 round downrange into our big steel plate. A solid hit. I have a feeling that one sunk deeper than the shotgun slugs did. Our biggest wound so far, right in the center of Demolition Ranch. Let's step it up a notch. What do you say? You might be thinking, Matt, is that an armor-piercing incendiary round in your mag, or are you just happy to see me? Both. We have an armor-piercing incendiary 308. This thing, I don't think it's gonna go through but it should be the closest out of all the rounds we've had so far. And we get a nice little smoke show, I love it. That is the round, you can actually see the bullet still in there. So it caught it, tore up that metal pretty good. It's interesting how different the holes are. Both of them look equally as bad, but they're just totally different. But still, nothing even remotely close to making it through that plate. I just wish we had something bigger that might have a chance to make it through. Barrett, 50 BMG, and we are shooting a red and silver tip. That is an armor-piercing incendiary tracer round. I still don't think it's gonna go through this plate, but there's only one way to find out. I think we smoked it, that's for sure. There's your answer. We did have this thing at an angle, but obviously with it making that shallow of a groove, even if this thing was flat on, it would not make it through. This thing is just too solid, too heavy, too thick. Oh, check out that. Thing is pretty good. So this steel will actually rust. So I think I'm gonna clear coat this thing and keep it as a decoration because 
it looks pretty awesome now saying Demolition Ranch with bullet holes and burn marks all over it from those incendiary rounds. Big thanks to Ballistic Machinist for sending that to me. That was just an idea he had. He made it happen and it was awesome. That's the kind of stuff I like. I like these like how bulletproof is it kind of tests. What else do you guys want to see on the channel? I like doing those kind of tests. I like testing new guns. I like testing ideas with guns, something you don't think of. I like all that kind of stuff. I have uh, in the next couple weeks we have a few crazy guns coming up for you um, they're pretty they're pretty crazy they're out there which I think you guys are really gonna like that's my kind of gun if you haven't checked out off the ranch it's my vlog channel it's kind of my everything channel really sometimes family vlogs sometimes off-road truck stuff sometimes fixing up houses we do a little of everything over there right now though if you're a manly man and like guns we're doing manly man kind of stuff over there which I think you might enjoy. So go check out Off The Ranch. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and i see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby?